Israel, uh, Pastor Corey here. Uh, getting ready to head out and do what I do today. Uh, heading over to the gym to get it in. Um, you know, continue making headway with our business that we have. But uh, I want to share something real important to you guys today. I want you to understand this. There's no need, not ever, to be edified by man. And that's what too many people are looking for man to edify them. You want people to edify, you know, things that you say, things that you do. You're looking for people to edify, you know, you on social media. You're looking for people to edify you at your job. You're looking for people to edify you in every aspect of your life so that you can feel good about what you do. But all the glory goes to the father in heaven and his name shall be made great. <clears throat> his name shall be lifted up. And so with that being said, I don't worry about nobody. I don't worry about nothing because guess what? In my daily walk, I know that I stay on guard for the enemy and I stay on guard for those things which come to hinder me, which come to hinder the work of the most high Yah. And, you know, in being edified, you know, I see the work in which Yah do in my life to keep me in line with him. And so when you're in line with the heavenly father, then guess what? Nobody can come pluck you up from that. Nobody can pluck you up from the most high Yah sustaining you in his will. You know, I'm going to share this quick testimony with you. Me and my wife was talking about this yesterday, how, you know, I remember <clears throat> back, you know, in the season we was going through where, you know, it was, it was a tough storm. And I remember we had a blue Astro. I want to say it's an Astro van or no, it was a, it was a Chevy Ventra. And I remember being on the highway, you know, with my family, we were driving and we was doing about 70 miles per hour on the highway. Well, as we came around the bend on the highway, the exit was a little ways up. The car just like shut off. You couldn't, you know, add any pressure to the gas pedal any longer. You, The car was done. We was just basically floating on the speed that we was going. We ended up making it up this hill. We made it up the hill and around the curve. We didn't have to worry about any lights. <clears throat> we made it to a parking lot where a restaurant was. And we ended up being able to pull straight in, get over in the next lane and turn in without any cars coming out to impede us. And we end up making a left turn and parking perfectly in a parking spot. And that's the last time I drove that van. Now, that's just one of many testimonies where Yah has perfectly guided us to safety, just like he did with my wife in the accident a few weeks ago. I mean, uh, 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 last month or where, however long it was, you know, it, it was recent. Not one scratch to her face, her head, you know, no damage to her brain, no broken, broken bones, just the favor of the most high Yah. And so when you're under that favor, who can tell you that you ain't under that favor? Who can tell you? Who can tell you that you're walking wickedly when your ways ain't confirmed by man? Your ways is confirmed by the favor and the instrumental being able to see the hand of Yah instrumentally guiding you along your way. See, me, myself, I look every single day to grow in the grace and the knowledge of Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, so that I don't have to look to man to edify who I am. And so in that, then I see all of these petty strifings and warrings and and, and, you know, all of these things that we do 
as believers in which we have a form of before that's coming. He is coming and we can see that spiritual wickedness in high places is happening. But yet the layman, the people are warring against each other. I'm going to tell you all something. You better guard yourself and prepare yourself for the real spiritual war that's coming because you're going to have to give account for every word that proceeded out of your mouth. And the things that you say, even against the righteous and the elect, is going to be judged. And I hope in wisdom you hear words of wisdom, sound, sound wisdom that is able to get you back on the path of seeking out the Father and being edified by him. I'm not edified by man. Neither will I ever be. I'm solo in my striving to be found righteous before the most high Yah. And neither one of you all, anybody that's viewing this video, none of you all will be standing next to me in the day of judgment, giving any side notes, sidebars to what I have done in my life. So, I don't look for you to edify nothing I do, nothing I say. I don't care who's out there, who think you got more wisdom. You think you you are set in this life. It don't matter. You better listen to sound words because in, in the end, we all going to see who was living right and just according to the ways of the Most High Yah and who wasn't. You know, you can keep on running your mouth and you can keep on talking and you can keep on side attacking and you can keep doing a lot of things that you think you're justified in doing. And this goes for all y'all who are working on the side of the enemy, being used and being overtaken by demonic spirits, controlling your mind, controlling your thoughts, controlling your words, speaking guile out of your mouth. You have to give account. And so it never it, it don't matter to me because. Hey, all you got to do is comment on this video, you know, and guess what? The war is on, you know, all I do is pray. I pray against every wicked thing that rise up against me. I pray against it. Just like I pray for people, you know, that I believe that the Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, Yahshua shall heal because it's not me that's doing the healing. It's not. According to my works, but it's according to the spirit. The spirit already carries healing with it. The spirit already has made available those things in which it shall do in the earth for those who shall abide in it and shall not doubt and believe the spirit shall go forth and accomplish what it already accomplished. See, when Yah spoke from the beginning, his word went forth and it accomplished. So the spirit that was said to come, the comforter shall come and it shall lead you into all things. It shall lead you also into all truths. That same spirit is the one that accomplishes healing and accomplishes the fruits of the spirit. The Spiritual fruits, all right, of the spirit. It accomplishes the spiritual gifts, which is of the spirit. So we don't have to worry about anything to, as far as proving a point to people. I love it. I love war. I love spiritual war, you know, because in, in where I grew up and, and seeing how the father has kept me from many things, from being shot, from being in North St. Louis, you know, having just many things happen to you because you're in a place where wickedness is at a high. And seeing my brother, Sylvester, who at one time had been wounded from a gunshot, had my cousin being shot. And just other friends, other people I grew up with, growing up in a place where you have no idea. The knowledge that I have, the Bible has brought me into a place of wisdom and in seeing how 
My life truly was orchestrated by the hand of the father. So that's all I need in edification. I don't need nothing else. I'm living and I'm breathing. And I'm steady watching the father build his testimonies in my life. And that's all I need. And I hope that's all you need. Hey, I'm Pastor Corey. You all be blessed, Israel. And all those who believe in the master, Jesus, Yahshua, Hamashiach. And let him lift you up. You all be blessed. Barak you. Shalom, shalom.